Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I am here in Toronto, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Keep Key and how to access your Bitcoin cash that you have stored on it. Now this is a special video because I actually was contacted by the CTO of Keep Key. His name is Ken Hodler, and yes, Hodler as in a Bitcoin hodler. He officially changed his name. Uh, Ken asked me if I could put together this video uh, and I then asked him if he might be able to put forward a bit of a prize uh, for somebody just to make this video a little bit more special. So I am going to be holding a contest where you can win your very own keep key so if you want to be part of that contest stay tuned to the very end of the video where I will give you instructions to do so but in the meantime let's take a look at how to access your Bitcoin cash from your keep key hardware wallet all right so I'm going to be taking you through how to access your Bitcoin cash on your keep key hardware wallet now, I am only capturing my desktop here because it's pretty much all you're going to need to see for the most part. Um, but if you're unfamiliar with the Keep Key and you'd like to see how to actually use it uh, in regular day-to-day -day transactions and how to set it up and so on and so forth, I have done a video on the Keep Key previously, which I will link below and in the cards. But for now, let's get into how to do this. Now, right now, I am sitting here on the Keep Key support page, uh, and this was their blog post uh, when they implemented this in their beta wallet software. So this is them announcing that you can now access your Bitcoin Cash, and it walks you through how to do it. Um, it's relatively thorough, so I will link that down below as well, so you can take a look through this if you need extra pointers other than this video. Um, and... Uh, down below here, it has a link to something that you're going to need. So let's take a look at what you're going to need to do this. Obviously, first you have to have a keep key. Uh, but besides that, uh, you're going to need to go to the Chrome Web Store and you're going to need um, something that you would have already had, but the beta version. So if I search up keep key right now in the Chrome Web Store, uh, I can see a couple things, the keep key client and the keep key launcher. All right. So what I'm going to actually need to do, uh, these are different from the beta versions. In fact, it's not very easy. I don't think that you can actually find it just by searching uh, the beta on the Chrome Web Store. You need to have this link from the Keep Key support desk that I showed you down below. Okay, so if you do click on this, it takes you to the Keep Key client here. Uh, it's, I've already installed it, but you can install it and then when you click on it, it will allow you to download the Keep Key Launcher, the beta version of that. So what that looks like on my actual computer here, if I go to my apps in my Google Chrome, uh, there's the regular Keep Key client, which if I open it up, this is what it looks like. So I have my loading screen. Uh, Normally it would ask for a pin number here, but I've already put it in before this video started, so it hasn't been disconnected. Uh, and then you see your Bitcoin balance, um, send and receive your old transactions, and you can also hit add account, okay? And here you have a dropdown of accounts that you can add Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, and Dash. So there's no Bitcoin cash in the regular wallet software. However, if, let's go back to my apps here, if you go to the keep key client here all right if you go to this one uh, then when it opens up you're gonna see something a little bit different you're gonna see your Bitcoin balance send receive and your transactions but then you're also gonna see your Bitcoin cash balance so if you had Bitcoin in your keep key prior to August 1st when there was the split then you will have Bitcoin cash sitting here waiting for you all right now there are a couple ways to access this um, oh I should show you really quick what I clicked on before so when I was looking through my Google Chrome apps uh, these two clients here um, you can also get the extensions up here uh, your keep key wallet and your keep key wallet they're this they say the same thing but the little RC that is the beta version anyways back to this uh, 
right here you have just basic functions, okay? So you can send your Bitcoin Cash, you can select an account, um, you can select your amount, so on and so forth, uh, but it's not a, a real account. It just gives you some basic functionality. However, you can add a Bitcoin Cash account, which I'm going to do right now so that we can see the differences. So you can see here, um, you're limited, all right? You know, you can send it out and you can pick the amount, okay? Uh, if I hit Add Account, then I'm going to do the drop-down menu and I will be able to see Bitcoin Cash here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap on that. Um, I'm going to call this BCH. And I'm going to hit Add Account. Okay, my new account was sex successfully created. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, just as a practice, I'm going to send my Bitcoin Cash into my Bitcoin Cash account. Okay, right now it's just sitting off to the side. It's not in a real account that allows me to manipulate anything. Okay, so I'm going to send that out. So I need to get that address. All right, so I'm going to tap on it. I'm going to hit receive and I'm going to copy this address down below. Okay, then I'm going to go back. Now let's just double check 1LX. This starts with just so I make sure I've copied it correctly. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to my main account, which is where the Bitcoin Cash is sitting. I'm going to hit the send button and I'm going to paste the Bitcoin Cash account. All right, how much do I want to send? I want to send it all over there, okay? So I should have um, access to all of it and there's a small fee of 0 0.0001 BCH, okay? So I'm going to hit transfer. I have to put in my PIN number. Now this is scrambled on the screen, so I just quickly tap that in. Hmm. 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 And then I hit send. Now it's asking me to confirm on my device, so I just have to hold down the button. It already shows it what it looks like on the screen. I do that, and I confirm one more time. And off it goes. Okay, so now I can see that it has popped up in this account. So, pending, because it has to confirm, there needs to be a block for it to confirm, uh, then I will have access to 0 0.0199 Bitcoin Cash, at which point I will be able to either keep it there or send it out or receive more or use Shapeshift to convert it. And we will get into that momentarily. I'm just going to be back in a minute when this transaction confirms. Okay, I'm back now and the Bitcoin Cash has officially confirmed in my account. And now I have access to anything I would like to do with it. So I can send, receive, I have my transactions there, just like my regular Bitcoin account. And I can choose if I want to send, if I want to uh, accept more Bitcoin uh, Cash to this account, then I can receive it to this address. Now... Let's say you want to convert your Bitcoin Cash. There are two ways to do that from here. One is probably the simplest uh, is built right into the wallet. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit send Bitcoin Cash. Now this is where you would either paste in a Bitcoin Cash address now, one thing to note, since I'm on this topic, is when you paste in an address here, it is very important that it is indeed a Bitcoin Cash address because Bitcoin Cash and regular Bitcoin addresses look identical, all right? And there will be no way for your Bitcoin Cash wallet to know if you are sending to a Bitcoin Cash address or if you're mistakenly sending to a Bitcoin address. Because if you do that, it can be very difficult, if not impossible, to recover your funds if you're not in possession of the private keys for that account. All right, so uh, just be wary that if you're sending it externally that you are indeed sending to a Bitcoin Cash address. That being said, there is one exception uh, which is nice here, is if instead of pasting in an address, I just click, there's a drop down. Now it says, 
I could send it to my main Bitcoin account. And you're thinking, okay, well, you just told us not to do that. That's bad. Well, when you're working within the KeepKey wallet, it recognizes that this is a Bitcoin account, account and you're sending from a Bitcoin cash account. So when I click on this, I see above it says convert Bitcoin cash to Bitcoin and send to my main account. KeepKey has an integration with something called Shapeshift. And Shapeshift is basically a service that allows you to convert between currencies. So when you use this option, in the background, it will convert for you and then it will pop up in your main account as regular Bitcoin. And it can vary how long this takes. Uh, sometimes it can take a few minutes. Uh, sometimes it can take much longer. And that's more a fault of, uh, we'll say, inconsistent block times on the Bitcoin Cash network. So it's always good to check on that. And I'll give you a way to do that in a moment. Now, here's the deal. Uh, this is using Shapeshift, like I said, but Shapeshift has minimums when you're converting currencies. And unfortunately, this is below the minimum in order to convert to Bitcoin. It's just below. I would need 0.0... I think two one or something like that. So it's just below and that can fluctuate based on the value of Bitcoin cash and the value is a little bit lower today. Uh, so that's not going to be possible, but I'm going to show you your other options. So this is kind of good because I can show how else you would do this. So I'm going to open up a window I have here uh, and I have an account open at hit BTC. Now there's lots of different online exchanges where you can change Bitcoin Cash for Bitcoin. Uh, this is just one of them. And so this is this is my account here uh, and I can see my Bitcoin Cash account, my receive wallet address, and I know this is a Bitcoin Cash address, is here. So I can hit copy. I can go back to my wallet and instead, I don't want that, I want to paste in the address I just copied. So I can see that they are the same. How much do I want to send? Well, I want to send it all. Okay. And I'm going to pay a small fee uh, for the network fee to send it. Now I'm going to hit the send button. I need to put in my pin, uh, which is scrambled on the screen. So I'll do that quickly. All right. And then I'm going to confirm twice once and twice and off it goes. So at this point, Bitcoin Cash gets sent out. Uh, if I head over to my wallet here, then momentarily I will see Bitcoin Cash pop up, at which point I can trade it for Bitcoin and do as I please with that, maybe send it out somewhere else. So yeah, that is basically it. Um, I can look at transactions, I can do all of that. So as soon as it confirms that it's been sent out, then, oh yeah, so there's my balance adjusting so that it has been sent. And uh, I will be able to go ahead and trade that on HitBTC and then send it back into my main Bitcoin account. Now, one more thing before I get out of here is I was talking about uh, inconsistent block times with Bitcoin Cash. So there may be delays when you're dealing with uh, converting your Bitcoin Cash here. So this is a good way to check uh, how quickly the Bitcoin Cash blocks are moving. All right. So if I hit refresh here, it will tell me when the last block was mined. So I can see, okay, well, 0200, 0152, 0151, 0150. So right now, Bitcoin Cash is mining blocks every you know couple of minutes. Um, if you don't understand why this is happening, then I'm not. I'm not going to get into it here. I have done a video on Bitcoin Cash before, uh, and I've talked on some of my live streams about it. But basically, it goes through periods of very very fast blocks, so your transactions get confirmed very quickly. And then it goes through periods where there are no blocks for hours on end. So it's always worth it to come here. I will put this link down below. This is blockchair.com slash Bitcoin dash cash. 
slash blocks. Uh, I know that's a mouthful, but it, there's a link down below. And you can just take a look and see how few and far between the blocks are. If you don't know what UTC time is, you can just Google UTC time and it'll tell you what the time is and just compare it to, to the times listed here. All right, uh, but do beware that you may be waiting longer uh, if these blocks are happening few and far between, that is just something to keep in mind. Other than that, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I'm not going to show the trading process on HitBTC. I did that for some other videos uh, and you may be using a different exchange. If you have more than 0 0.02 BCH, Bitcoin Cash, uh, then I highly recommend just using the Shapeshift in integration. If you get an error code, it is because you have less than the minimum, okay? Uh, so thanks a lot, guys. I hope that you found this very helpful, and I look forward to hearing people being happy about being able to access their Bitcoin Cash on their KeepKey device. All right, let's get to that contest for your chance to win a free KeepKey hardware wallet. All I need you to do is send me your best Bitcoin and or cryptocurrency related joke. You can hit me up on Twitter at BTC Benny, on my Facebook page at BTC Sessions, or you can email it to me at BTC Sessions at gmail.com. I'm going to give this about a week for the entries to come in and I will decide my favorite joke and announce that and send it out to the lucky winner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able to and share this video. I will see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.